I am Anil Kumar. We are learning how to solve exponential equations. In this video, we will learn the second strategy, which is to factor common powers and solve exponential equations. Two examples will illustrate these, this kind of strategy. The first one is 4 to the power of x plus 1 plus 4 to the power of x equals to 80. The other one is for you to practice 7 to the power of x plus 1 plus 7 to the power of x plus 2 equals to 8. So let's begin with the very first one. When I say 4 to the power of x plus 1, what does it mean? It means 4 to the power of x times 4, right? So when you combine the powers, they get added up, right? So that is what it means. So clearly, we see that 4 to the power of x is common factor. So factor that out. You're left with 4 plus 1 on the left side with 4 to the power of x. Now, 4 plus 1 is 5, right? So, you can now divide by 5 to get what 4 to the power of x is. So, 80 divided by 5, right? So, this goes 1 times and 6, 16. Now, 16 could be written as 4 to the power of 2. So, here we have used our first strategy, which was writing with the same base. Once we have same basis, then the exponent should be equal, so we get x equals to 2 as our answer, right? So that is how we combine strategies to solve. So I hope these steps are absolutely clear to you. We'll do the next one now. So here what we have is, we have 7 to the power of x plus 1, 7 to the power of x plus 2. So we'll factor 7 to the power of x, correct? what do we get? We get 7 to the power of 1, which is 7, plus 7 to the power of 2, right? That is what we get, equals to 8. Now it is 7 to the power of x equals to 7 plus 7 squared is 49, is it okay? Which is 8. So 7 to the power of x is, once you add them, you get 56, right? Equals to 8. So 7 to the power of x is 8 divided by 56. Now 56, 7 times 8, so we get 1 over 7. So we could write 7 to the power of x as equals to 7 to the power of minus 1. Same base. That means exponent should be equal. So x is equals to minus 1. So that becomes the solution of the second equation. I've gone through it quickly. I'd like you to you know, pause the video, understand the solution at this stage. Go through both these solutions and then do the next question on your own. I hope that will really help you. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.